So Zach, what was the highlight of your third senior night? <laughs> uh, the highlight of my third senior night, um, really just watching the other guys go out there and make plays. I don't. Have, I feel like that sounds like a corny answer, but um, I feel like you know we all put so much energy into each other, watching each other succeed, and you know hype each other up on the sideline, especially between the D line. So going out there and you know seeing those guys make plays is um, it always brings me the most joy. Zach, we're gonna go to David Wilson. David, go ahead. I'll make you talk about yourself, I guess, a little bit uh, to get the strip sack on senior night and get to where that turnover chain, I guess, one more time at, at Hard Rock. Just what did that mean? I mean, it meant a lot. I thought about, um, I tried not to actually, I tried not to think about too much, like what I would do in this game and um, just try to go out there and take it play by play like a normal uh, normal game and, you know, not let all the hype around it get into my head. Um, and so, you know, the strip sack came when it did. I, I felt like I was on them a lot um, at quarterback in the, like towards the end of the third quarter. It was getting frustrating that I wasn't getting a result. Um, but, you know, I kept on, kept on rushing and, you know, uh, things came together and worked out. Zach, we'll go next to Tom D'Angelo from the Palm Beach Post. Tom, go ahead. Hey, Zach, congratulations. Zach, I know this game, you guys uh, came out and everybody was playing for the seniors, but also was a part of you having listened to all the noise this past week, did you feel like you had to play this for Coach Diaz also? Can you uh, repeat the end of that question again? I didn't hear the end of that question. With with all the noise of the last week, did you guys feel like you had to play this for Coach Diaz also, uh, along with the seniors? I mean, you know, it's, we all treat it like a normal game. It, it's a lot of the... We try not to let the emotions and everything get to us to the end of it. You know, we get into the locker room and it's a big celebration. You know, some guys, um, you know, in their feelings or whatever about it. But again, it's just, we had to treat everything like a normal game. We didn't want to go out there and, you know, you let your emotions get too high, you start to make mistakes. So we just treated it like it was the same thing. Zach, we'll go to Daryl Streeter from Footballville. Daryl, go ahead. Uh, Zach, how you doing? I appreciate you um, and great game tonight. When you first got here, your coach was Mark Rick. Talk to us about Mark Rick and the impact that he had on your career. Uh, Mark Rick, is, in a lot of ways, uh, you know, I can compare his mentality to Coach Diaz and the fact that they're both, I see them as unshakable characters. You know, anything can come at them or come at the team and they remain poised and, you know, just like they're supposed to be at the head of the team. Um, but, uh, you know, his his teachings and things like that, he, I feel like uh, he was very important to my development as a young man. And, um, you know, Diaz carried that through and really the rest of the coaching staff and, you know, just the experiences uh, that I encountered while uh, here at Miami just – you know, I'll be forever grateful for those. But Rick was a big, a big part of that. Zach, we got two more for you. We're going to go to Brian London. Brian, go ahead. Zach, congratulations on the victory. You guys really um, kept bringing it to the Virginia Tech quarterback tonight. Was that was that part of the plan? I mean, he's definitely going to probably need some ice and some Advil uh, tomorrow. I mean, that's always part of the plan. If you can get up to the quarterback, you can get up to the whole offense. Everybody feels it when the quarterback gets hit. Not to say we're out here trying to hurt anybody, but, you know, it's a man's game. We are trying to play a man's game. Um, and so, you know, uh, you know, we, again, we don't want to see anybody get hurt or injured, like seriously, and anything like that. It's not like, you know, I don't want to give off that impression. Um, but as much time as you can be around the quarterback, you can definitely affect the game more. And that's what we're looking. We're trying to affect the game when we're playing defense. Zach, last question for you is going to come from Susan Miller-Degnan. Susan, go ahead. Hey, Zach, congratulations. Um, I've been asking people about going to a bowl game, what that means to you. You're a veteran now. How important is it, especially for maybe the younger guys? I'm a freshman defensive end. <laughs> but, um, no, it's always important, you know, for the program to go to a bowl game. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's more about for this team, the story is always, at least this year, it's been about persevering and, and fighting through you know, the adversity. And I feel like it's the same thing. You know, you, you hear that every team's going to say, you know, you got to fight through adversity. But this year has been a little bit different in the way that we went about it. Um, and so, you know, the result has been a bowl game. We wasn't thinking like, OK, we got to win this game so we can get to a bowl game. It was more just, you know, we've been, you know, fighting a lot of downs. And, you know, it's turned into a positive as we all send the senior, seniors out on a, on a high note. Thank you. Zach, congratulations on the win. And thanks for all you've done for us over the last six years. We appreciate you. Thank you.